All right, let's boot up Mangia 9. Um, I know very little about Magia at all. I'm not very familiar. <clears throat> Sorry, it's er if my voice sounds weird, it's because it's super early in the morning and I don't know what's happening with my voice, but it's rough, quite rough. Okay, um, I have never seen this. English, yeah. So, what, I have to accept the GPL license or... Interesting. Don't think I've ever seen... I've, I don't think I've ever seen this, ever. This is interesting. This is very interesting. Okay, I've never, never seen this before. Uh, what is your time zone? No, it's... It would be Chicago. Let's go up here. Chicago. Next. Uh... Hardware clock set to UTC. Yep. US keyboard. Okay. Interesting. All right. So let's see. Shh. Welcome to Magia. Live mode. Cool. MCC Magia Control Center, aka DRACCOMF, is a set of tools to help you configure your system. Okay. With Machia, you will find the software in the media repositories. Okay, let me mute my phone so I don't get a whole bunch of stuff. RPM Drake, DNF Dragora. Uh, here you can choose to permanently install this Magia system on your computer. All right. Well, first things first, before we install it, I want to load this thing up and see. So the Magia Control Center, we've got a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, so it's guilty of the same thing that Open Mandrake was guilty of, where there's just like the name of this xgnome-utilities.directory. Okay. It comes with a little bit too much. I don't like what's with the, the Emacs BS. It, it definitely comes with a lot. Uh, they've got a whole bunch of printer stuff in here. I mean, they've got a lot of stuff already installed. To some, that might be a good thing. Let's try out the Magia Control Center. Install software. Okay, look. I don't think it looks the best that it could, but as far as control centers go, this is exactly what I would expect to see on Windows. So I have a hard time believing anyone's going to have a hard, hard time using this. Install, remove software. Yeah, I mean, I probably wouldn't use this all that often, but it's there. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and install it. Let's see how the installation. This wizard will help you install the live distribution. Thank you. Uh, no, I want to do the NVMe block device. Erase and use the entire disk. Next. All existing. Yep, next. Computing total size. Okay. We will remove... Okay, so unused hardware support. Yep, unused localization. Okay. Oh, wait, click cancel. Uh, okay. Next. Cool. I do actually like that it removed the extra packages that we don't need. Okay, so I guess it's already installing, I guess. Very odd. I would think it goes, it would go ahead and ask me some more things before installing, but Sure. Uh, I don't think there was an option for me to encrypt it. If there was, I didn't see it. Okay, so this is inter I was not expecting this. Grub2 with a graphical menu, EFI, okay. Main options, delay before booting default image. Interesting. Gives you like... Okay. okay. This is 
a totally different install process than I've ever seen before. So this is completely unique. I will go ahead and say, I think the installer, the control center, the welcome to Machia thing is all very nice. So far it's been very nice. It does need a little bit of polish. Like I think the buttons for the options and stuff over here in the welcome thing could be, could look a little bit better. And the logos could use some improvements just in the fact that they should probably be SVGs or just higher quality. But I mean, it looks great. Let's go ahead. I don't even know what password I'm putting in. I don't know if this is for, I'm gonna assume this is for the root password. Um, I cancel, okay. Um, I'm gonna assume that's what this is for, <clears throat> what this is for. I'm gonna assume that's not for my user, next. All right, so we're installing Grub. Let's just finish. <clears throat> you now have the opportunity to set up online media. This allows to install security up updates. To set up those media, you will have to have a working inter internet connection. All right, let me go ahead and connect. All right, so we're connected. Yeah, let's update. Mirror choice, automatic. Downloader, default, sure not find a mirror specific curl this is a problem random one yep nope so i literally can't install magia none of their i can't find a working mirror and by the way this is their mirror list it looks horrific most of their mirrors like they've got a lot of mirrors that are down i mean there is some that are you know kind of up to date, like less than 12 hours old, but there, there ain't a single one that's up to date and none of them will work during the install. So that's a pretty big problem. So yeah, uh, this has been Magia. <clears throat> Can't get it to boot or boot. Can't get it to install. The mirrors are not working. So that's a problem. Sorry, Magia, but, um, yeah, that, that's my experience. So I guess I'm just gonna have to move on and uh, everybody, the second option compared to Magia for the production system in the last live stream I did, <clears throat> which again, I'll throw up a card for, is, well, OpenSUSE. So let me go download that and try installing it. I'll see you boys. Peace. Hey.